Efforts to change the so-called free kill law are hitting some roadblocks. That's right. The law currently prevents family members other than spouses and minor children from suing hospitals, doctors, and other medical providers for medical malpractice. Tonight, West Chew's Greg Fox explains why some families believe one of the bills in the legislature is being watered down. You cannot imagine the pain that we suffer every day. Think about the patients who die. Anything else has been added to this bill, such as damage caps, we don't want. They lined up in front of the Senate Judiciary Committee to argue for the repeal of a 1990 law that has shielded hospitals and doctors from medical negligence lawsuits. Under Florida's free kill law, as some have nicknamed it, when it comes to medical negligence, damages may not be recovered by a decedent's adult children or the parents of an adult child in wrongful death cases. Senate sponsor Clay Yarborough amended his original bill that was a straight repeal of the law to now include proposed caps on non-economic damages. For doctors and other practitioners, the maximum claim would be $500,000. 300,000 in Medicaid cases. And for non-practitioners like hospitals, the maximum claim would be $750,000. As a side note for clarity, the amendment does not include any caps or limitations on economic damages, i.e. for medical expenses, funeral expenses, lost wages or the like. People we've talked with who have lost loved ones and claim medical negligence say putting caps on non-economic damages would leave them unfairly compensated for emotional distress, loss and suffering. The father of Mary Jo Kane Reese died after months of what she called negligent medical care in Florida and says limiting non-economic damages is not acceptable. And you can't quantify the value of someone's life. You just can't. I mean, you can't come up with a cap. CS for SB 248 is reported favorably. On an 8-2 vote, Yarbrough's bill moves on to the next committee. Greg Fox, West Thank 2 News. You,